It's uh, about six o'clock in the evening here at Sudwana Bay. Um, we're fishing here about a kilometer from the boat launching site. Unfortunately, the water is a bit shallow. Um, we've got a high tide at the moment, but not too much deep water. So we found a little hole here. We decided we're gonna slide a fresh bonnet that we got on the boat this morning. See if we can get a GT, a black fern, or a big sandy now. Um, the plan is to wait there until 10 o'clock tonight when it's spring low, move on to the ledge on the point there, wade out and try and fish over the ledge and see if we can get a big GT there. This is another fine mess Rudolph's got me into. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. We're fishing in some really shallow water here. But true to the word, Sudwana Bay, these big fish come into the shallow water as soon as it gets dark. Yo! The conditions are not great, beef. Persisted here, there's a bit of a storm brewing. Winds up, big northeast, and uh, yeah, we stuck to the guns and actually called it. We're going to sit another half an hour. <laughs> I think every time you say that, something gets told in the water and uh, get a bite. Today I'm fishing with the uh, 10 Fathom 40. You know me, I'm 10 mad. The fly the wood is like. Guys, this is what we call a blackfin shark. You can see why we call it a blackfin. It's got nice little black tips on each of its uh, fins, on their pecs, and on the dorsal, and on the tail. And one of the most distinguishing factors for, that you can uh, find with a blackfin is you can see its, its muscle body and its pointed nose. He is built for speed. This fish is absolutely built for speed. He's ready to go back. I'm gonna get him back in the water. Fish is probably about 50 kilos. Super, super, super strong. Okay, there we go. We just landed these blackfin with those fresh bonny heads. And I think it's my turn now. He's trying to hold the fish. Prevent him from going over that reef at the back. Doesn't feel like a giant, but uh, Nevertheless, it's a bite. One of those 30 to 50 kilo fish. But uh, we've been fishing quite hard and the bites have been scarce, so I'm not complaining. We're actually quite lucky tonight. To my right here, we've got Sudwana Bay launching area and the reef's out there. And normally when the fish picks up, it runs right to the reef. Both our fish have moved left, away from the reef. And uh, that actually helps us a lot. No reef out here, it's easy to land the fish. It's just running up north at the moment. It's taking about 300 meters of the line. I'm close to the braid now. So um, that bank, there's a very shallow bank about 350 meters out. So hopefully it'll stop just before that bank, then I can turn it and land the fish. The spin talk's got an awesome drag. I've always just got to check because you can overlock it and uh, the line might part, especially me fishing 050. So, um, but very, very nice. I really enjoy this reel. So, I haven't managed to turn it, it's still running. My favorite rod, Hyperside and Heavy, um, 14 foot rod, my Ben Talk 40. Um, I've got about 500 meters of 50 pound whiplash on and then I like to fish with 050 kingfisher line on it and a 6 meter 1 millimeter leader line just went back into the deep sea again well it's an hour now <laughs> but we thought an issue was a small fish Turned out to be a better fish, but um, back on my main line, that 250 meters out, sitting on that bank. I'm sure as soon as I get him over the bank, he should come in quite easily. Trust Rudolph, he's always got to do one better. Got to get a bigger fish than me every time. 
tide's running out, spring tide, we're close to low tide now. Water is extremely shallow out there, about 250 meters out. Really battling to get the fish over that bank. Just sitting on that shallow bank and giving me a hard time. So, trying every trick in the book to get him over that bank. Bit of yellow line at last. About an hour ago, I saw that. <laughs> I sort of, it feels like I've managed to get him over the bank. Um, it's very difficult to say in the dark. The tide's running out very fast. Hardly any water out there. And from the beach, 300 meters out, it's just about, I guess, knee deep. Getting closer. keep this fish out of the water for too long so we just use my leader to measure it not the right way but accurate enough um, you know, if it's a few kilo, kilos out not too serious so we just want to estimate about how big this fish is don't want that thing to bite you as you can see the sharks got a huge spectral fin and that's a reason for that very strong hard fight it's also small but this huge spectral just lies in the water like that and uh, very very strong fish Let's get it back in the water. Eh? Yeah. Yes, well done, Carl. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Helps you go beat me, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> that was great. Well, guys, from uh, T Pen, that's us, Rock and Surf. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. It's uh, been a great day. Wonderful day. Yes, well done. Thanks, yeah. Liz. <laughs>